the issue of uh, at least half of the patients, I think, don't have very high cholesterol that would alarm us. Uh, they end up with myocardial infarction. So there's so much we don't know of. Uh, we don't know the interaction between the genetic background, which is very polygenic genetic background, and the uh, and the various risk factors that we know of or we don't know. Some of the risk factors that we, we now consider emerging may play a very important role in, in uh, a certain genetic backgrounds. And as pointed out in your question, I think um, uh, there are probably some favorable factors or uh, protective factors. Uh, we are now working on a, on a substance, uh, a recombinant uh, uh, Milano uh, apolipoprotein, uh, hoping that that, uh, that protective element uh, that exists in nature uh, in some uh, people in Italy uh, will help to... Uh, uh, to, to prevent the uh, complication of atherosclerosis. There is certainly so much we don't know about the risk factors as well as uh, preventive factors and what leads to the vulnerable, uh, uh, vulnerability and the, the spectrum of vulnerability.